So it all comes down to this, the end of the road for our journey with Birmingham City. Let's take a quick look at the fixtures that you've missed since the last time we met. The first of which was a 5-3 home win against Fulham. I kind of wish this was a live com because it was an excellent game. Keiji Goto got himself a hat-trick. Of course he did. And Ferran Torres got himself a double. George Tot Johnston, Francois Camano and Ayosia Perez with the goals for Fulham. We then went away from home and smashed Brighton and Hove Albion 4-1. Martinez trio with a goal. Keiji Goto with a brace. Alexander Diaz with one. And Jude Bellingham missed a penalty. We picked up two injuries in this game, both missing the rest of the season. Ferran Torres and Thomas Nielsen, both of our right wingers. We then had a home tie against Manchester City and they of course beat us. That's the third time they have managed to get one over us this season. 2-1 was the scoreline. Vinicius Jr. and Frankie de Jong with the goals for them. Alexander Diaz with a late consolation. Another game against a top side and another defeat. Away from home against Arsenal this time we got beat 2-0. Matteo Guendouzi and Amin Guri with the goals for them. Andre Anderson from the penalty spot for us did give us the lead, uh, the lead initially. But as you can see by the match stats, Arsenal probably deserved the win. And finally we got back to winning ways away from home against Southampton. Jude Bellingham and Kaichi Goto with a brace getting the three points for us today after Christius Rasmussen had got one back for Southampton. And this... Sees the Premier League table going into the final day of the season. Looking like this, we sit third. And we are not guaranteed Champions League football right now. But we are. Football managers a little bit confused. So, this is the situation. We are now four points clear from Manchester United in fifth place. Which means we can only finish third or fourth. But fourth place could lose their spot if the Europa League winner is English and is not in a Champions League. Oh, hold on. Football manager's not confused. I'm the one that's confused. So, here's the situation. Right. No, we would still finish third. I'm, I'm so confused. So, the situation is this. Arsenal are the team in the Europa League final. So, Arsenal are the only side who can overtake us to make us finish fourth. If they win the Europa League, they are already in the Champions League. So, we would get the spot as the fourth place side. Manchester United cannot go above us. So, yeah, I think we are guaranteed Champions League football. Football manager doesn't realise it yet because Arsenal are in the Europa League final. And it's it's all it's all very confusing. But let's play this game as if it really, really matters. <laughs> and hopefully we can get a win. So that final game will be against our old team, Sheffield United, who currently sit in 14th. A quick update on Barnsley. They currently sit 16th. Three points clear from the drop. Re very very good goal difference so it's unlikely they are going to get relegated this season i hope they stay in the league so we've got two teams that we've managed still in the premier league what is it four seasons in no no this is our fifth season but anyway enough of the chat let's get to the match uh, at home against sheffield united we need a win for football manager to realize we're in the champions league we're, we're going to be it ferran torres was just about fit enough to start today's game so he starts on the right hand side other than that, we're pretty much full strength. Jakub Kasoglu in goal, Keith Lonsdale, Andrew Mader, Jose Martinez and Jesus Vasquez in the defence. James Garner, Mauricio Chan holding things in the centre. Martinez trio on the left-hand side, Jude Bellingham and Ferran Torres in behind. Kaichi Goto, our main man, our Japanese superstar. 29 goals and 33 games in the Premier League. Pretty special. Hopefully you can get one a day to market for 30 goals for the season. Let's get into the match. First highlight of the game comes 20 minutes in. We give the ball away in uh, Sheffield United's final third and they hold possession quite well in defence. We closed them down well but they played incredibly well to get that to Thierry on this right hand side. He's beat his man, he's in the box. He chips it back to Daniel. Jakob makes everything look easy. 25 minutes in now. Martinez Trio plays the ball through the middle for Keiichi Goto and that is a huge save by Hugo Souza. Hopefully Keiichi Goto can get that goal. I really want him to get 30 goals for the season. Ferran Torres with a corner, it's cleared. Sheffield United on the attack this time with the long staff, the ball's played in, Vazquez clears, and Sheffield United retain the possession on the left-hand side with Philippe Brekelow, plays about a failed. I've been keeping an eye on that Brekelow, he looks like a very, very good left-back, and potentially someone who could have done with a loan season in the Championship next season, but he is starting to for uh, Sheffield United. Jude Bellingham drives forward and goes for goal, hits the side netting. Keith Lonsdale with a throw in in the final third. Ferran Torres plays a back run. The ball's played in. Martinez Trio goes close with a header. 
And that brings the end to a disappointing first half, I would say, for us. Looking at the other results, Arsenal are drawn away from home. Manchester United cannot catch us or whatever they are doing. I can't even... Oh, they're getting beat off Spurs. So um, everything's going pretty well in the other games. We just need to get ourselves a goal in this one. Another highlight now. The first one of the second half comes only a few minutes in. We have possession deep in our own half. Do not give it away. That would be a bad bit of business. But Ferran Torres... Does give it away to Pedro Neto and Daniel is now away trying to get in behind our defence. Goes for goal. It's an awful shot in the end. But Ferran Torres, maybe not up to this one. He is really, really lacking match fitness after his injury in the other couple of games. So we will look to get him off. We've got Alexander Diaz who can play it on that right hand side. Not perfectly, but uh, more than capable enough. Corner for Sheffield United. Yanazai plays it in. Mirda gets it clear. And Jude Bellingham is the man who can bring it forward for us. He's got Keiichi Goto for support. Tries to go past Thierry, but he gets dispossessed. Martin Estrio picks it up. He goes for goal himself. Play it to Kaichi. <laughs> it's not going to happen, is it? Goto is not going to get his goal today. Yanazai with a free kick for Sheffield United. Goes all the way to the back post. And Lotaro Chavez gets the goal for Sheffield United. Putting us 1-0 down. That is hugely, hugely disappointing at home against the side. Sitting in 14th in the Premier League. We've been so clinical against sides that we should be beaten. Um, so far this season so to falter at the final hurdle would be a little bit disappointing I, I know we've qualified for the Champions League right I know I have but football manager doesn't seem to think so so I'm going to bring up the league table we are sitting in fourth Um that leaves me a little bit nervous even though I know it's Arsenal in the Europa League final so the Champions League spot is ours but hopefully we can get a draw today and we won't need to worry about it at all Mauricio Chan Picks up the ball in the centre. Back to James Garner. We've got a lot of men pushed forward. Diaz. It's not going to Diaz. It's going to Keith Lonsdale. Whips it in. Keiichi Goto was there. And he gets his 30th goal of the season. Well, 30th goal in the Premier League. His 33rd goal for the season. And we are now back in third position. Guaranteed the Champions League. We are, we are guaranteed the Champions League. There's a highlight straight from kickoff. Don't do this to me, Sheffield United. We had some good times. Don't do this to me. Andrin made it with the ball. Tries to play it. Alexander Diaz, he gets the ball. It's an excellent first touch. He drives forward and goes for goal himself. Hugo Souza with an easy save with that one. Gordo with a free kick from deep. He plays it in. Bellingham's there. It's cleared. Yanazai. And maybe now Sheffield United can break. Thierry brings it forward. Finds Alcaraz. With a massive gap in the centre of our defence. But thankfully, Martinez can mop up for us. Diaz brings the ball down this right-hand side. Drives in and goes for goal himself again. Not quite the shot we were looking for there. And with five minutes to go, we will look to make some changes. We're going to bring on Andre Anderson the last time. We will see him for a good while. And we'll also bring on Felix Past... No, no. Mika Mama. He, he, he was good for us in the championship. So we'll bring him on for his final game with us in charge. And time is just ticking away. It looks like it's going to be Birmingham City 1, Sheffield United 1. We are three minutes. There we are. Uh, dominating the match stats but not really creating too much in terms of the highlights and actual chances um, but that's it that was the final game that we will be in charge of Birmingham City this team was a little bit special I think I'm, uh, I'm gutted to be leaving them at this point you know we've got three or four players who are absolutely ready for the top and um, ready to challenge for the Premier League so with some more smart additions in the summer Birmingham could be a real real force in the Premier League there is the confirmation that we're looking for. Birmingham qualify for the Champions League by securing a top three finish in the Premier League. The board set the initial budgets. It's pretty healthy. A £53 million budget with 725k available in the wages doesn't really give them a lot of room for manoeuvre in terms of the summer for the wage bill. Um, but whichever manager they get in, hopefully they can make some shrewd signings. And here we are at the end of season stuff. Players inducted the overall best 11. Are any of our signings in there? I don't think they are. We haven't been here long enough for our signings to make that sort of an impact. Um, so it's mainly just the team as it was when we actually first joined the club. End of season awards or Kaichi Koto. I've never seen I've never seen a percentage different uh, as that for fans player of the season. 76% he won up. Mauricio Chan coming in second. James Garner coming in third. Keiichi Goto was signing of the season. He was young player of the season. Mauricio Chan was the man with the goal of the season. Let's take a look. It is a game against Norwich City at home. We were 1-0 up at the time. Mika Marmol with the ball on the left-hand side. Oh, we've seen this goal, didn't we? We did. 
Uh, Mauricio Chan with an excellent left footed finish from the edge of the box. Our uh, season in review then. Um, we'll justifiably look on the season with a smile on their collective faces as they defied pre-season expectations of relegation and instead mounted a campaign at which they secured continental qualification for next season. Champions League football for a newly promoted side is something I don't think I've ever done on any football manager to be quite honest with you, um, particularly not with one who didn't have a massive amount of money. This wasn't like a newly relegated side who was bouncing straight back up with £100 million ready to splash in their first season. So... I'm really, really pleased with what we've been managed to accomplish with uh, Birmingham City. As we can see, B plus, a B plus. Are they actually kidding? Oh, it's because it's reset. It's already next season in the board's mind. That's why it was A plus before that. And um, they're expecting mid table next season and reaching the group stage, which of course they're going to do anyway. We automatically qualify for that. They're not looking for too much in terms of um, objectives for next season, which will be handy for whichever new manager comes in. And uh, I want top half next season. I don't really care if I <laughs> should. I, should I just go ahead and pee them all off so that I'll leave? No, I don't want to do that because I want Birmingham to do well even when I'm not there. And there's the confirmation that Keiichi Goto finishes top goal scorer, 30 goals in 34 games in the Premier League. Um, I think he only started 33. He made one substitute appearance when he was returning from injury. 12 goals ahead of Duvin Zapata who finished in second in the top goal scorers. Absolutely phenomenal season by this man. I have fell in love with the Japanese striker. Um, when we signed him, it was for £5 million. He came in, our assistant manager didn't like him, our scouts didn't, weren't particularly keen either. But that just goes to show that you've got to trust your own judgement on football manager when you're looking at players. And whilst the star rating systems and stuff can be useful, at least in terms of filtering people out maybe, they're not always accurate. And... It, if anything, it just shows, take notice of that sort of stuff. But in terms of the squad then, and Birmingham City going forward for next season, they have got three absolute world-class players to be, at the very least. Andrin Maida, the centre-half, was signed for £17.5 million. He is already at the top of his game, still got a little bit of room to grow. I wouldn't be surprised if the big boys come sniffing for him um, during the off-season, but hopefully they can keep these sort of players at the club and build around them because he is a very key man. Jakob Kasoglu as well, very much in the same sort of vein. Signed him in the January transfer window for £18.5 million and he's just improved every single month. He's training great, he's got a good personality. He's got he's the entire package. At 20 years old for a goalkeeper, if they can tie him down, they've got a goalkeeper for the next 13, 14 years, no doubt. Mauricio Chan as well. Not quite on the same level as the other two, but definitely a top, top player. Already got 27 caps for the Mexico national side. Mentally, he's spot on. He's already there mentally. Physically, he's getting there as well. As you can see, with the 14 uh, acceleration, 16 pace, strength at 13, stamina at 15, natural fitness at 14. He's got all the technical attributes he's needed in the centre of the park as well. And he's 20 years old. He's just phenomenal. 10 million, was it for him? I think it was something like that. 10 million pound on the dot. Absolutely fantastic um, bit of business there. Jesus Sanchez is the next one. Of course, he's only a loan player. He's returned to Valencia at the, for next season. But if they would get him back in, that would be a good move for um, Birmingham City. Kaichi Goto as well. He's not he's not world class or potentially world class like the others are. But he's more effective than he's been more effective than the others. He's got 7.55 average rate and 30 goals, five assists. He's just an absolute superstar. Nothing more needs to be said about that man. In terms of some of the other players, then the likes of Keith Lonsdale, he's classed as a wonder kid. He's English, got a bit more room to grow as a right back. <sighs> he doesn't do it for me. He doesn't. Um, I think it's his physical. He's not really up to par for someone who needs to be bombing up and down the pitch all game long in a sort of system I would play. Maybe someone else is going to come in and really, really get the best out of him, but it will probably be an area I would look to improve uh, for next season if I was still in charge. Jude Bellingham as well, he's massively improved over the course of this season compared to our championship season where he really stagnated in terms of his development. But now that we've got the better training facilities, better coaches, we've massively improved the infrastructure at Birmingham. It seems to have really paid dividends for this lad and hopefully he will continue to grow and become the wonder kid that we know he can be on football manager. I've seen him become an absolute world-class player. Hopefully he can still do it. He's starting to consider whether he should be looking to move to a bigger club. All right, mate. Get your big down. You're a Champions League player next season. Um, 
But that's pretty much it for the other players. You know, a lot of them came in this season, haven't had the same sort of impact that uh, the others that we've talked about have. And that is pretty much it for Birmingham City. We are now due to resign. Birmingham players named on the team of the year, Kaiji Goto, of course. Um, but I don't think there's anything more for me to do other than to resign. Do you wish to resign as manager of Birmingham with immediate effect? We do. They are trying to keep me out of the club and I'm afraid I've got no intention of changing my mind. The time has come. We are now unemployed again. There's no jobs currently available on the market for the championship right now. Hopefully, over the course of the next couple of weeks, things might start opening up. I'm hoping I can get a job before the summer transfer window starts so I can have a proper pre-season. When I came in at Birmingham, it was, what, the middle of September. They'd already played 10, 15 games. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping for a bit of a quicker turnaround. But if we have to start in the middle of the season, that's what we've got to do. So now our time at Birmingham City has come to an end. We can add them to the leaderboard. We'll now have two entries on it. Barnsley and Birmingham. Of course, we finished 11 points ahead of our place with Barnsley. With three uh, points, uh, three places above them in the league table. And we will be looking to fill this entire page with teams. Hopefully get them in the Premier League and seeing if we can beat Birmingham. It's going to be an absolutely massive task to ever beat that Birmingham score. 75 points in your first season is a huge huge amount of points and maybe we won't be able to find the magic formula to be able to top that but next club the first aim is to beat Barnsley and we'll just see where we are after that point but anyway if you have enjoyed my Birmingham City save please consider leaving a like and get yourself subscribed if you're eager to see who the new club is going to be but until next time take it easy